Yo, what's up everyone? I'm Jackie YVT, Tech Away Tech Everything. Welcome back to the channel. And today's video, I'm gonna answer a burning question on everyone's mind. Should you buy an iPod Nano 6 generation in 2023? Because we all need to know if this nearly 13-year-old device is still relevant. Is it worth it? Is it still usable? Let's find out. It was launched back in 2010, 1st of September, the same date, the same event as the iPod Shuffle. And I also did a video about the iPod Shuffle back in 2021. You guys can check that video out. So this perhaps the most controversial iPod Nano and the least iPod Nano design in the whole entire iPod Nano lineup. Why I say that? Because Apple removed the iconic candy bar design, the click wheel and also the camera as in the fifth generation iPod Nano it has a camera where you can record video and taking photos but on the 6th gen iPod Nano you cannot do that anymore you get a small screen with 1.54 inches with a resolution of 240 times 240 it's literally a square display with a 222 pixels per inch instead of rely on the voice over over like in the iPod shuffle for generation to figure out what song you're listening to now you can finally touch it with your finger as this is a multi-touch touchscreen display so the way you interact with music is a big upgrade compared to the iPod shuffle for gen as you can quickly search and click on it the song that you want even after almost 12 years later it is still a timeless design around the edges on the side the circular volume button full size display clip design you can rotate the screen if you clip the iPod Nano 6th gen in the upside down position very compact size it can fit easily to your jeans pocket that little small pocket pretty much useless nowadays yeah you can fit the iPod Nano into that comfortably clip it on your back your shirt your pants anywhere I would even argue it's still comparable to today's Apple design if you of course ignore the thick bezel and the old 30 pin connector for charging and syncing it's not compatible with Apple's lightning connector obviously but luckily 30 pin connector is still easy to find nowadays unlike the firewire cable it comes with variety of colors the colors that you can think of Apple got it for you moreover because of how the iPod Nano 6 gen was designed with the clip square and compact Apple decided to put watch faces into the device and Steve Jobs even mentioned about one of his executives used this as a watch and people was laughing at that time little do they know that people started to use this as a watch in fact i got a watch strap that comes with when i purchased this uh, second hand online apple actually added more watch faces in coming years through software updates so in total you get about 18 watch faces to choose from i would say the watch faces are pretty nice design you even get some of the disney characters a minimalist or much more dressy type of watch faces so there are watch faces that suit different kinds of people that's not saying that you can replace your apple watch or any smart watch because it doesn't have the touch to wake up function or always on display and internet capability and so on you have to press the power button in order to tell the time software wise it looks like ios but it's not ios meaning there's no app store support you can't download any application on this ipod nano 6 gen in another words no spotify no apple music soundcloud etc there's no streaming music service on this ipod nano with that being said there are some ways to get music it's just not as convenient as the modern technology that we have nowadays you can purchase songs from the itunes store rip songs from your cd collection or you can just enjoy free music on the radio 
Yes, there is a radio feature on this iPod Nano. Just plug your 3.5mm earphones and you can receive your nearby radio signal and enjoy the free music. The radio reception is great too. Apple being Apple, this is not your typical radio app. Apple even went extra miles by adding radio plays pause and even rewind up to 15 minutes. I find this rewind feature very useful as sometimes I might miss or didn't catch what the radio host said. I can just rewind back and listen one more time. Unfortunately, there's no record function for the radio. It has a built-in pedometer with the Nike Plus Fitness apps. It can record your footstep. I'm pretty sure it was a great feature back in 2010. It can record your footstep, but it's not doing accurately. My Apple Watch and my phone do it much better than iPod Nano. So I hardly use this feature. The major downside of the iPod Nano 6th generation will be there's no Bluetooth function. You can only use wired earphones to listen to your your music and that's kind of annoying uh, because wired earphones cable with tangle around create some mess especially when you're doing some exercise in the gym running the cable is just swinging around if you are really one bluetooth then this ipod nano is not for you and if you want to record the voice memo you have to use a wired earphones that has built-in microphone because the ipod nano 6 gen doesn't have a built-in microphone as long as your wired earphones have the built-in control you can play pause using third-party wired earphones it doesn't have to be apple earphones so how does it sound it sounds pretty good the music playback is good even though there's no built-in deck like the wolfson deck built into the iPod Classic 5 and the 5.5 generation. Also, there's no high res support. So if you are an audiophile, maybe this is not for you. But as an average music lover, enjoyer, this is pretty good, I would say. As for the storage, it only comes with two storage configuration, the 8GB and the 16GB one for the rich people. It's not a lot by today's standard. However, you can still store up to 2000 songs for the 8 GB one and around like four to five thousand songs for the 16 GB one my iPod Nano 6 gen is the 8 GB version and I already store 222 songs I still got 5.4 GB left the storage is enough if you're like me unless you are those kind of people who have a tons of music in their collections like 20,000 songs you might want to go for iPod classic Apple claimed it could last up to 24 hours of music playback, which is more than some of us can say about ourselves. However, that assumes that you already replaced your iPod Nano battery. So the battery life is depending on the condition that you have right now. As for my condition, it can last for five to six hours of music playback. And the standby time is quite impressive. It can last up to six to seven days, even though this device is almost 12 years old to some they might hate using itunes to sing their music but to me i actually love using itunes because it's easy to use it you just drag and drop to the itunes and sync it yes you can use this like you know android just drag and drop to the file apple has to be apple man to me, it's fine. Last but not least, let's talk about price. The iPod Nano 6th generation was initially priced at 149 US dollars or 589 ringgit when it was first released in 2010. But in 2023, it's a different story. Find a used one for a decent price. You have to be careful because you don't want to end up spending all your hard-earned cash on a device that is about to kick the bucket. As for for me, I got it for 200 ringgit Malaysia. Anything more than 300 ringgit, I would say it's not worth it. Especially those so-called brand new seal, the price is ridiculous. iPod Nano 6th generation is without a doubt an obsolete
friendly device by today's standards. But then it still got that charm. It is a blast to the past. Its sole purpose is to play the music without any distraction. Because a lot of time when I use my phone to listen to music, I often get distracted by the YouTube videos, Facebook, all those stuff. So this iPod Nano 6th Gen allows me to appreciate the music that I have. Back to the question, should you buy an iPod Nano 6th generation in 2023? Well, it really depends on what you are looking for. If you are someone who wants a device that is small, compact and loves to collect Apple products or just tech in general, then the iPod Nano 6th generation might be perfect for you. And don't forget, it's really convenient and useful when you go to the gym or do any sports because of the clip design you can clip anywhere but if you are someone who wants the latest and greatest technology you want all the convenience and comfort of the modern technology or you are just not into the idea of carrying around a nearly 13 years old device then it best to look elsewhere that's about it thanks for watching remember to give a thumbs up subscribe comment down in the comment section below and share this video and i will see you in the next video guys goodbye